Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Father having a hard time with baby mama. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So this is what I got to go through with every time trying to get my daughter from my ex. I'm recording because you do this every time. Because you do this every time. If that bitch in the car. It's my wife. I don't care. I feel disrespected with her being here. I told you that. Because once we got our divorce. Every Because when we got our divorce. I told you I did not want her here. But you continually bring her here. Yeah, it's my wife. I'm going to bring my wife with me to come and get my daughter. No. Yes. No, there's no reason that she is yes. here. Yes. I asked you so kindly not to bring her because I feel disrespected. I don't see how you feel disrespected, though. You this is my wife. Said you said all of that. I'm just, I don't want no part of it. I, don't I just want my daughter. I don't care what no, you feel anymore. Get your fucking daughter while she's here. That's her I'm going to get my daughter. Why? Call the really? Police. Call the police. Really? Yeah. Really? 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 Okay. Okay. Yep. Drivers, man, is this what you go through with your baby mamas? Is this what you go through with your baby mamas? When you go to pick up your kid, the baby mama is so much dramified that she uses your kid against you. You've been out over the road for like for like two months or something like that. You're ready to come home to a three-day weekend, and you want to enjoy it with your kid. Now, let's say your baby mama don't like, don't like your significant other or your wife or anything like that, and you happen to bring your wife with you to pick up your kid. Now, I know some of you are going to probably side with the baby mama, and I can see why. I can see why, because why would you bring someone that you know that your baby mama don't like and you know is going to trigger her? See what I'm saying? If you know it's going to trigger her, then why bring her? How come you can't just leave her at the, at the crib? And say, hey, I'm about to go and get my I'm about to go and get my child right quick. Give me about 10, 15 minutes. Pick up your kid, bring her back to the house, have a good time. And then at the end of the week, take your kid back, hop back on the truck and get, you know, get ghosts. If you knew that your wife is triggered by the other woman, then why bring that drama in your life? I mean, I understand. You know, I, I understand you might want to do this for views and clicks, but I'm looking at it from both sides of the fence. Now, from the other side of the fence, yeah, you know, uh, you know, your, your baby mama shouldn't have never used your kid as a clutch. You know, just because she doesn't like any, I mean, like the other female. I get it. What the baby mama should have did was just let the kid out and go on about the business and left you know, and left well enough alone. I know you drivers is going to side with the male in this case. So I see both sides of the coin. But drivers, what's your thoughts, though? And have you been involved in a situation like this where you go and pick up your kid and your baby mama, you know, starts with the rah-rah and then up all of a sudden use your kid against you? What do you need to do in situations like that to avoid all of that? I know some, I know some people have a, a liaison, you know, a point of contact. You know, hey, I'm, you know, my, my daughter and her liaison is going to be there for me to pick up my kid, and we won't even have to see each other. So let's just set that up because if the male is going to be persistent to bring his wife knowing that his baby mama is triggered by it, then you guys need to put something else together. Y'all need to do this for the benefit of the child because all you're doing right now is messing up that child. That's all. And I understand bitter baby mamas, I, I get it. They love to install that bitterness towards their father into their kids and then when their kids go up that same bitterness from the mother 
resonates over to them and then they'll take out their feelings and 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 stuff like that out on their fathers for nothing or your your father's a bad guy he's a deadbeat dad yada 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 but in reality this man been paying his child support and been trying to get you to come into his life for the longest but it's your mother that keeps baller blocking Am I right or wrong, drivers? I mean, I, I seen this way too much. And I understand there be dads, there be mothers. I get it. Some fathers have been in terrible, terrible situations with, with, with their baby mamas. And the courts always, always is going to side with her in uh, other than extreme cases. Have you been involved in extreme cases let me know in the comments below you know this is a serious topic it hits drivers hard because 10 20 30 percent of drivers do have child support taken out of their settlements every week to support their child some hits harder than others and i will say this and i and debate me on this but child services from the courts is never good and it's, to be honest, it's not even for the child because that money that they take out of your paycheck, 10, 20 percent of it goes to the system and the rest of it goes to the baby mamas where some of them would would damn near live off your child support. You claim you spent five years in prison for failing to pay child support for the defendant, Ms. Sears' son, Dylan. That's right. Mr. Manser, you are not oh, God. his not? father. Oh, man. Five years in prison. Do you know? Yes, ma'am. You know who his father is? Yes, I talk to him still. Wow. Oh, 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 drivers. Woo, what's your thoughts on that clip right there, man? That is, mm, mm, mm. I'm speechless. I'm beyond speechless, man. This man spent five years in prison for a kid that wasn't even his. Five years. And this lady stood there stone-faced like yeah i still talk to the man's baby's father today know who his father is yes i talk to him still do you know who the father is yes i still talk to him today really this man right here spent five years in prison so you mean to tell me that you were still talking to this this kid's father why this man was in prison for a kid that wasn't his drivers what do you do in a situation like that man i mean you out here driving bouncing along having good time and all like that then you go to the dot you get pulled over find out that your driver's license is suspended you wonder like whoa what's what's going on you come to find out that it, they suspended for child support. Then you get arrested because, of course, they, they was looking for you. So now you got to go back down to Houston, Texas. You get, you get hemmed up for a kid that's not even yours. You go to prison. You lose your CDL. You lose your livelihood and everything. You come back out five years later only to find out that the kid wasn't even yours what do you do let me know drivers what do you do in a situation like that man whoo that's crazy and then and then the baby mama is going to be like yeah i still talk to the father today because i know him and you didn't bother to go the the, the court or to to well, the court, because you got to go to court to get everything situated. So you didn't bother to go into court to let them know that the man that's in jail currently is not the father. Big cheese got it locked. Boy.
Let me out. 